بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We have a lot to be grateful for. And psychologically, this is one of the ways of being content. Be happy with what you have. Forget the past, or try to forget the past, and try to ignore the future. Live for the moment, uh, not in the bad way. <laughs> what I mean is some people, well, some of us, we think that living for the moment is have not a care. Don't give a, have no care about the world. Let's just live for the moment. No, I mean it in a different way. Live for the moment in that do not let your past, do not let the past consume you. Do not let the future consume you. Appreciate your life and your existence now as it is. When I say live for the moment, live by the moment, is look at yourself now. Don't grieve that you don't have a mansion, you don't have millions, you don't have wealth, that such and such a person and such and such a person is wealthier than you. Look at yourself now. Are you not in a state of security? Is your life under threat? Are you starving? Aren't you sitting in the warmth? In shelter? Haven't you been fed? Aren't you satiated and full? And if not, won't you be? If you can appreciate what you have now, that's exactly what the message is in those hadith. On the day of judgment, one of the first things a person will be questioned about is that Allah will say to him, Did we not give you a healthy body and of cold water to drink? You will be questioned about that also. If we try to live our existence moment by moment and we look at ourselves as we are now, we will be far more content and we won't be so driven to endlessly and relentlessly and incessantly Pursue the accumulation and the gathering of wealth in this manner which distracts us from our true purpose, which distracts us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.